All right, we're gonna add a little bit more audio juice to our scene here. So what we wanna do is add a sound to our moving platform that's just like a little bit of a droning sound, uh, but helps kind of make our, our platform feel like it's a little bit more involved in the world, as it, as it were. So what we're gonna do is um, we're going to select our moving platform here. Uh, we're going to go to the inspector in the top right where it says open prefab and we're going to open that up. If you need to, you can also just go into your gameplay prefabs folder and open the moving platform there. Um, now on our empty game object, not on the platform object itself, but on our empty object that holds our platform mover script, we're going to add an audio source component. Um, and then we're going to expand that. And immediately what we want to start with is uh, draw or unchecking play on awake here. Uh, we don't, that, that setting will make it so that as soon as we hit play, our sound will start playing. And because our, uh, our platform ha has the option to not play or, or not move until we tell it to, we don't want it to be playing to the sound if it's not moving. Um, so we're going to, we're going to tell it to play or not play based on, um, uh, whether or not it's moving. Uh, we can also go ahead and click this loop option. We're gonna turn loop on because the sound we, we, we've picked for this is actually a looping sound. Um, and we wanna, you know, as it continually moves, we want it to continually loop the sound here. Um, next, what we need to do is go into our sounds folder and go to platform. Um, and then we're gonna drag this platform buzzing sound into our audio clip portion here. Um, we also want to take this volume and set it down to like 0.2. Um, one's going to be pretty loud, so 0.2. It might even still be a little loud, but uh, we'll see when we test it out. Uh, now that we've got all this set up, let's go ahead and go into our platform mover script. Uh, we're going to add a variable at the bottom of the platform mover here called audio source AS. And then in start, we're going to say, or before we do our enable platform thing, we need to make sure this line is in front of enable platform. Um, we're going to say as equals get component audio source, and then our open and close parentheses here. And then inside enable platform, that method down here, we're going to say as.play, just like that, and then our open and close parentheses. And then in disable platform, we're going to say as.stop and then open and close parentheses as well. And now you'll see if we go back uh, to our scene view and then go to the hierarchy and hit play, we should hear that sound of our platform. But I think it's still a little bit loud. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a couple things here. We're gonna click back into our moving platform prefab. So I'm gonna select one and hit open again. Um, and we're going to drop the range on this. Um, there's a nice effect that occurs when uh, our distance is significantly lower. Uh, our max distance right now is set to 500, so let's set it to like 10. Um, I think that'll be good. And then we'll keep the minimum distance at one. I think that's fine. Um, and then we have that volume staying at 0.2. Let's see how that sounds now. Still about the same. I think we maybe want to uh, drop our Doppler or increase maybe our Doppler level, increase that to two. And then uh, we want, oh, we want to set the spatial blend all the way over here to 3D. So that's going to help us get that effect of it moving across our screen. So now if we get close to it. There we go, we can hear it get close. We're standing on it hear that nice and loud when we hop off it moves away i think we actually maybe want to turn the volume up a little more let's see how 0.4 sounds yeah that's perfect so now we're standing on it that sounds nice when you hop off you get that nice sound like you're moving away from it. So yeah, we want to make sure our volume's at 0.4. Our 3D spatial blend is set to one. Uh, we can increase our Doppler level to two, and then we want to change that max distance to 10. And once you got all that, you can go ahead and save your sneak.